so now what we have learned that how we can take the values of all the element inside the matrix of a now we will do certain operations so what are those operations for that we need three indexes so let's say the index are i j and k what is i i is the pivotal row what is j j is also row but below pivotal element below pivotal and what is k k is column so if i ask you uh, what will be the range of i so let's say this matrix is n cross n plus 1 so the i will start from 1 and it will go up to n minus 1 up to this point right and j will start below pivotal that means it will start from i plus 1 and it will go up to n up to here so k is the column so it will start from 1 and it will go up to n plus 1 now the question is what kind of operation we are going to perform so our objective is with the help of this pivotal element I am going to make these elements below pivotal 0. So let's say if I take the R2 row, so the R2 will be R2 minus 0 upon 2 R1. So this ratio we need to calculate. And then we'll do this, this operation. So for this operation, this operation is going to perform in all the columns right so first thing i will calculate this ratio for this ratio uh, if if you see carefully i don't need the information of column but i need uh, only pivotal element and below pivotal elements but for operation i need the information of the column so this ratio i will calculate from inside the ij loop and this full operation i will do inside the i uh, inside the k loop and this ratio i will calculate inside the j loop right so uh, let me write the code and i will explain you Here I am going to uh, enter three for loops. First is the for the pivotal uh, pivotal row. I is equal to one. I less than n or less than or equal to n minus one. You can do anything i plus plus this is the first for the pivotal rows and the ne next for loop is for below pivotal so j start from i plus 1 and j will go up to n j plus plus and this is for the columns k start from 1 k will go up to n plus 1 k plus plus the first thing i'll calculate the ratio let's the ratio is c and that ratio 
we don't need uh, the information of the column so we'll do inside of the j so let me see all the yeah now it's fine okay so uh, let me write the code here inside the j loop the c is equal to if you see carefully 0 upon 2 here 0 upon 2 what is 0 and what is 2 2 is the pivotal element this is the pivotal element this is the element and this index is 1 1 so pivotal elements both index will be the same right so its index will be a i i so that is a i i and what is the numerator is the zero if you see here it's a two one i mean it's a uh, two one means it's a below pivotal element so it will start from j and pivotal uh, you know column i so this is the ratio we are going to calculate now here we are going to access all the column to perform this operation r2 tends to r2 minus 0 0.2 r1 as well as r3 tends to r3 minus 3 upon 2 r1 so i'm going inside of the k and what will be the matrix co coefficient a j j is the below pivotal row because we are not going to change anyhow the pivotal row a j k is equal to you can relate with r2 is equal to a j k minus ratio ratio is c and here we need help of r1 that means the pivotal row so that will be a i k so in this way i can write the code so now i'll uh, check what is this error I don't know why this special character coming okay so now the error is gone so now I'll check this by printing this a so here I'm copying the things and again printing this here here I can give the print statement operation complete
and save it. Now I'll run this and see whether it's going to be our desired matrix or not. What is our desired matrix? The below the pivotal elements, all the elements should zero. So what are the pivotal elements here in this case? This is the pivotal element. Second, this is the pivotal element. So below this, this should be zero and this should be zero. So let's run the uh, problem. So if you see, just wait, there's some problem. So let me run from here. Yeah. So now I, I again enter those values two, three, five. C, uh, 0 a21 is 0 a22 is 4 2 1 and a31 is 3 32 is 1 1 11 so now your original matrix is this and after this operation that matrix become this so if you can see carefully Below the pivotals, all the elements are zero. So these are our operations. Now we will fetch the value of variables after this operation. So this is the next step. So we will write the code for this also. So till now we have learned how to enter the elements and the second thing how to do the Gauss elimination operation. Next, we will run, learn how to get the values of variables x, y and z. Thank you.